you would join us. Hey folks, we're looking at number three of the Skeleton Crew. We're counting down to one um, in the Black Series. This time we're looking at Wim. Next, next in our line of characters, young children. I'm excited about the likeness on the face is fantastic. Just looking at the packaging, so lifelike. Hasbro is just absolutely cooking with the figures now. Backpack, nice accessories. Just sort of, I think the uh, good good amount of accessories sort of you know adds a little bit more value for money when you're getting a figure that's a little bit smaller, um, like uh, Jake Lloyd's Anakin Skywalker from Phantom Menace. Probably could have done with a couple more little accessories. And we would have felt a little bit better about that price point, but it is what it is. So there is Wim on the side of the package. Same sort of bio and little write-up about the show. Nothing too exciting there, but you can pause it and have a look. But yeah, let's take, let's bust open Wim and have a look. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. All right, here is Wim. Next figure out of the bank. And uh, yeah, the next of the uh, four four kids, the four main kids of the show. Now, Wim comes with a couple of extra accessories, which is really cool. I love that. Uh, there is the torch. So again, slightly different to each of them, which is cool. They've been ever so slightly different. There is a bit of a walkie-talkie, which makes sense for kids. You know, this sort of Goonies... Um, you know, sort of my Stranger Things sort of vibe going on with these kids. Which don't blame Star Wars for tapping into that sort of vibe, that definitely that Stranger Things sort of adventure. So that's a cool little piece there. And then we get some form of little wrench. Which looks nice. And Wim's backpack again different, which is very cool. Not sure what this is meant to be in the side here. It doesn't come out, it's glued in. It almost looks like a butt scratcher. <laughs> but yeah, there's two little spots in the top here, one being for the torch. So it just sort of wedges in the top there and then another another little hole for the wrench there so that's cool it's like got the backpack full of tools and stuff so yeah nowhere for the uh, walkie-talkie but that's a good excuse for the character for Wim to have that hold holding on the shelf so we'll get a close look at the head sculpt I think that looks really good love the hair that's really nicely sculpted. It's long and curly. <laughs> As a hairdresser, you look at hair like that and go, where do I start? <laughs> but it looks good. Again, the jacket got this sort of Star Wars -y elements, the patches, the gold, little gold rings. Got a patch up there on the chest there. Again, it's just these sort of stitch lines, that sort of vibe. Definitely feels Star Warsy to me. A piece there on the uh, on the wrist. Sort of just a blue blue shirt there. And we haven't done a haven't done a fantastic job at the color matching of the. Uh, skin tone there under the shirt or whether that's meant to be something else underneath like a like a single little part of the shirt I can't tell um, but if they've done that to try and color match mm, leaves a little bit to be desired but that's okay a little bit of paint sort of where as it hasn't sort of gone on super straight there sort of on the pants but when the figure's down like that, you can't tell it's sort of covered in shadow, so not a big deal there. Sort of standard pants, trousers, Velcro shoes. <laughs> Which 
which is cool. So I'm interested to hear about Wim. Not sure what kind of vibe I'm getting from, from Wim at this stage. We'll find out in just a couple of weeks. You know, I sort of thought KB might have been a, you know, sort of more mechanical minded. His Fern might have been a little bit more of that adventurous speeder bike racing, bike racing sort of kid. I don't know, maybe the walkie talkie is that sort of, you know, kid that likes, you know, communicating, has tree houses and likes to go exploring. And I believe Wim is the one that finds the uh, the shuttle. So let's give Wim the uh, walkie talkie here. So it holds that well, that's cool. But before I do that, we're going to put the backpack on. Now the other two have been relatively easy to put on, so I dare say this one will be too. It does, fits on nice and snug. Put the arms forward, that looks good. Happy with that. Got this tools and torches. Now, that might pop out if it falls over, because it's not a tight fit. The torch seems to be locked in there pretty nicely though, which is good. Now we go back to the uh, walkie-talkie. I'm sure it's got a more Star Wars-y name than that, but <laughs> we're going to go with walkie-talkie. So articulation, I think it's not going to vary too much from the other kids. Ball and socket in the neck, ball and socket in the bottom of the neck too. Ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. Uh, hinges on the wrists on this one, ball hinges on the wrists. Up and down on the right wrist, in and out on the left. You have the ball and socket in the hips, the barbell. You have the swivel at the top of the thighs. The ball joints in the knees. Ball joints in the ankles. And I think there's a separate joint in there as well. If you look, kind of look up the trousers... Looks like there's a separate joint up there. There is. There's a ball and socket. I can't really tell. But I think the sort of lower part has just sort of been popped in there. So whether that's something to be used later, we'll see. And then, yeah, the rocker joint in the feet. And you'll finish up with the uh, peg test. Using the uh, KR stand. Fits like a glove. And there we have Wim. Number three on the skeleton crew. We'll be looking at Neil next. Neil, number two. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Wim. Stay tuned. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the review. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with Neil tomorrow at the time of recording this anyway thanks for watching till next time may the force be with you always